what led to her, her gruesome murder. It has become a fashion in Nigeria that when people are murdered, the cops will be left there and nothing will be done to apprehend the murderers. This young lady at 24 years of age, her killing is a, a prick on the conscience of this nation. We must begin to protect human lives at all times. Kaduna is a metropolitan city. It's not a rural area. So a youth copper cannot be killed like this on national service and nothing is done to explain the murder. So uh, it's very regrettable and um, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorrowful over this development. When you post youth coppers to some places, they begin to ask for redeployment. I was inundated with a, a lot of requests for help for the deployment of people from my area who were posted to some states across Nigeria for fear of their lives. And when you approach the NYC, they will tell you that if they continue to do that, nobody will serve in those places. And you yield to it only for you to wake up and hear the type of thing that has just happened. If you gave this girl a chance, she may have rejected going to that place. She would prefer Abuja, where there is a reasonable safety. So we must know that the life of every Nigerian is important, particularly these young people going on youth service. So I, I support this motion and join in calling our colleagues to contribute. After contribution, we cannot bring her back to life. She's gone. And tragically, the only daughter of the mother. There's nothing we can do in this chamber today to assuage the feelings of this woman whose daughter has been so cut down. Thank you very much. Mm.